Well, not not so much. Not not so not that different. On the first half, we made like a couple of mistakes, very important mistakes. One on the try, but we we stayed in the match. We stayed in the game. Wales are really smart in the tactical way. They were playing uh, on the long way, on the long run, and we, we didn't we didn't expect that. We needed to reorganize our our team, but on the couple of times where we played on the second phase, uh, from that very moment, we had a great and strong defense. Well, we did a mistake in the second half, an error on the on the try. But I have the experience of this kind of match. What's important is to keep uh, playing uh, forward, to have a positive impulse and to score points as quickly as possible. That's exactly was the most important. It was not that different compared to the uh, the other matches. Our physical training sessions uh, paid and uh, that's ex that explains the, the results. F congratulations, first of all, for this result. How are you feeling? You're on, Michael, you're back on semi-final. The last time it was a defeat against uh, England and Julian in 2015. Well, I, I'm pretty happy to be here. And I, no, the semi-final wouldn't be the end. That's uh, that's what uh, I'm expecting. That uh, sounds that sounds pretty obvious. But uh, the teams who are playing Paris uh, looks to be already in semi-finals and finals. And I, well, I'm pretty happy about the, uh, the results today. And in a couple of days, we are uh, going to start and prepare ourselves for uh, this uh, semi-final. We are really uh, happy to be in semi-final, but uh, that's not uh, the final step. We want to go further. Obviously, yes, I totally agree with Michael. I'm pretty proud of everything we did this uh, this week. We have next week will be short week of preparation for the semi-final. We are going to have some rest, but we still have many things to uh, correct and to really, really need to work on, work, work hard on, on many things. Congratulations to both of you, Michael. Bets on the bench give you, you're fully right on your on what you were uh, organizing on the bench. Uh, what are you planning now for the next match? Well, I'm sure you are going to prepare this victory, but you are going to prepare the semi-final pretty soon, right? Okay, so as I said already, I really like that when the number nine, number ten, the the halfbacks are pretty complementary. So we can use one on a match, the other on the, on the for the other match, and as we did uh, tonight, it's a kind of a half match, a half game. When they are uh, tired, we we changed, we changed those players. We are uh, giving new players in the halfbacks. Hugo Sanchez, with his hundredth selections, he's. Uh, going on the pitch and we uh, talk about that when it works really well or when it works really bad but anyway that's part of the match uh, that's part of the game they need to, re to be uh, strongly connected even though today he didn't uh, have the opportunity to to play to have the ball in hand no that's not a problem it depends on many different uh, outer elements But uh, the number 10 
who's not on the bench who's or not on the pitch has a huge uh, role to play and we are all they are they are all really eager to play they really want to play they know that they are always useful they can help now uh, they can help at all time now we are in the top four so I think we can do anything can happen so we can do uh, everything congrats to both of you all Argentina is uh, with you and Michael you're Australian but as coach of Argentina how did you how did you did you leave that thank you and I as usual I want to thank all the people who came here all the people who were not able to to come here all uh, i'm really thankful to all the people who are supporting us we are wearing that jersey but we know that we are m many more than uh, 33 uh, players uh, michael is uh, the first of them and every single player all the staff and all the fans all the people who uh, support us we are fully aware of that. There were moments in the match where I wanted to go on the pitch with them. It was so beautiful, so strong. It's unbelievable. That's, uh, that's the best that can happen to me. The, the movements, the passion, it's fantastic. I'd like to ask you, the Pumas were in the best uh, momentum. How did you manage to keep on trusting in each other? Well, thank you, thank you very much. We always say that this quarterfinal is a huge huge match and that we need to be there all together obviously there are still some things to improve for the semi-final but we are really fully confident a mistake can happen but that what's important here is really to uh, react well we uh, it took some hit was uh, was tough but we were able to keep on fighting until the end congrats a question to Michael. This is the second semi-final, one with Australia, the second one with uh, Argentina. What makes it uh, so, speci so special for this one? How to prepare a team before... Uh, how are you going to prepare this team before the semi-final? Well, it's always different. In 2015, we were playing in the same stadium was uh, easy to prepare, the recovery was easier. In 2023, uh, we've been told, I don't know why, we cannot go uh, there before uh, Monday. We're going, not going to do anything uh, tomorrow. On Monday, we are going to, we are going to um, travel on Monday, so we are going to lose one day in preparation, and the other team will obviously already be in Paris waiting for uh, their um, semi-final. So this will have to change. I cannot implement the normal preparation phase in this uh, shorter amount of time that I've been given. So mentally, the preparation and uh, what we need, it's clear that we are going to be able to prepare this match in Paris, how we are going to react, how we are going to uh, face the obstacles. A clear and simple strategy, good recovery, so that we can be ready for battle and the physical uh, war next week, next weekend. The interpreter didn't hear the question. Uh, 
we're not we couldn't talk about that before because we were not qualified so we didn't want to uh, have some trouble on things we didn't think about but we obviously need we will obviously need a specific recovery we'll need to rest but i wouldn't ex i wouldn't use that as an excuse this or that can be better or this or that can be worse but that's the way the organization works so we need to do as we have to do congrats to both of you my question you are in a continued progression since you started with uh, against England do you agree on this vision of your of your progression yes that's right that's as I said it's not linear there are ups and downs we one needs to understand that there are some obstacles, there are some problems, we are we have to face them and to solve them. And that's how we can get ready for next uh, next match. Regarding our classification, qualification, we want to uh, keep on improving our game and get rid of the obstacles, but we you cannot say, okay, this week we are going to uh, grow in three points, next week uh, four points, or whatever. No, we are focusing on the problems to have the best possible intensity on the pitch. A question to Julian. What did you say to Moroni if you had time to, to tell him something after these uh, tries? You, uh, you saved, it's a uh, comparison with the Diego Martinez tackle. And uh, question to Michael, what has changed in your attack? There were some variations we didn't see in any match during this World Cup so far, even though it was uh, complicated. Uh, well, I wasn't on the pitch when he uh, did his tackle. But uh, that is uh, was fantastic. Uh, the, the, there are uh, 15 starting players. Uh, the other players finished the, the match. What, what is great is that all the players uh, finished the match. And uh, yeah, social network. In four, four weeks ago, we were the worst. And well, today we are the best. Well, uh, that's it. So what, what really matters is our friends, our family. Now we need to recover physically, mentally. We will be traveling on Monday. And uh, what is what we can do as a team, we will do it. And yes, this tackle is fantastic, obviously. Regarding the attack uh, variations, we are uh, working uh, uh, restlessly on new systems, new new tackling systems, even though with the kicking game, even though on the kicking game, so it's uh, important, uh, we must be unpredictable. And next week we will be even more unpredictable because um, the, the other teams will be afraid of us. But on what match, depending on the opponent, what really matters is really to know what technique to improve depending on the on the match on the game and take every single opportunity when we see it bam we go and that's exactly how we can work on the variations it's exactly what we've been working on i see many things that i liked regarding uh, about the rack about the repositioning i'm really happy uh, globally, this match, our attack, really put them under pressure and I'm really, really proud and happy about that.